This is a racetrack for photons, individual particles of light. The researchers raced them in pairs. One photon they left alone. The other was sent through this special mask. That forced the photon to change its shape and travel slower than the speed of light. After the mask, the photon is launched into a sort of racetrack about a meter in length. And then we take the time in which the unshaped photon finishes the racetrack and then the shaped photon its time as well and then compare the two times. This is how the team have visualized the finishing line. On the right, the unchanged photon gets there first. On the left, in second place, the reshaped photon is traveling slower than light speed. Light travels actually at different speeds depending what it's traveling through. The light here, for example, is going through water and it slows down. The amazing thing is it speeds up again to the speed of light on the other side when it comes back out into free space. At Glasgow University, they've done something different. When their light slows down, it stays slow. That mask looks a little bit like um, a bullseye target and that mask patterns the light beam. And we show that it's the patterning of the light beam which slows it down. But once that pattern has been imposed, even now the light is no longer in the mask, it's just propagating in free space, the speed is still slow. It means the speed of light is a lot more complicated than it might seem. It's a bit like the bunch in a cycle race. The bunch may be moving at a steady speed, but inside it, individual riders are moving at different speeds, just like photons in a light beam. It's really, really interesting. It's just one of those big fundamental questions you, you may want to ask yourself at some point in the pub one night. And if you follow through and you actually measure it, it's quite amazing, isn't it? The work may one day lead to new applications, but for now, it's changed the way we think about light. Kenneth MacDonald, Reporting Scotland.